Amarjit ji uh, and all members of uh, APPG, of course, uh, in absentia, uh, um, His Excellency uh, Charanjit ji, uh, who is ambassador uh, to, uh, to the Indian High Commission to, uh, to London, uh, and uh, Member of Parliament Virendra Sharma Blackman ji, and Dr. John Porter, uh, Thomas Faisal, from uh, my friend from uh, Czech Republic, uh, Dr. Deshan Shankar, and uh, many of my friends who are there uh, in this, uh, in, in, in participating in this particular meeting. I'm happy to be here. Uh, in fact, uh, it is it's an honor. And um, I, I, I wouldn't take much time. Basically, uh, what I would like to uh, probably inform you is that uh, WHO has, during this period, during this, during this uh, pandemic, taken a view that uh, traditional medicine or whichever may be the medicine, conventional or traditional medicine, if they are scientific, evidence-based and uh, safe, uh, uh, then uh, and, effic and efficacious should be utilized for the for the prevention or cure of, of the pandemic. We have been since then uh, working with several countries and trying to understand the hundreds of different studies in traditional medicine. So we are collecting the information. We are collecting the public publications which are happening across the globe in traditional medicine related to COVID. And a lot of that is happening in India as well as in China. So we have we have collected all this information and we are we are uh, analyzing them and you know and most probably uh, in a short period of time we should be we should be uh, uh, may, may, we should be making it available for all the member states to use it uh, in appro most appropriate manner. So uh, that's one uh, part of what we are doing. And, and another uh, another part uh, in, in in case of yoga. Uh, we are uh, creating a training manual or rather a benchmark for training of yoga is being created by WHO or is being developed by WHO and it should be uh, it should be out in about uh, or we should be publishing it in about six months to eight months time. Uh, we are at the last stages of the development of this benchmark document which should be very important and which would be a global document because we have the development uh, uh, format for this, uh, this document. Uh, we are also developing uh, for the utilization of, of yoga enthusiasts across the globe who are who are far away from uh, people uh, like you know yoga yoga, yoga uh, instructors a mobile based application for tra getting trained in yoga so we call it the m yoga application and it will be a part of the who yoga applications which will be available for public use globally is going to be a major global uh, global good of WHO and will be available uh, as a global good from WHO uh, very soon. Uh, like it should be available by the end of uh, this year, uh, published by the end of this year. It was supposed to be published uh, on 21st of June, but from February till uh, February till, you know, like till this time, uh, several of the work which was supposed to happen could not happen because of COVID-19 and you know, related issues. Uh, and then uh, we are also uh, in the in, in the in the um, like um, using uh, yoga in, uh, and in in the, in the pandemic management in several several areas, especially in mental health management. Yoga is a major tool which WHO has been has been propagating or has has given out in its inter interagency document uh, to utilize yoga as a as as a tool to manage the mental health and and also the physical health during that period and yoga has also gained uh, WHO's uh, like confidence in being used as a major tool in management of NCDs. So, so there are uh, being, being the yoga day, I would like to, I would like to uh, uh, inform you that WHO since the, since the, uh, your, uh, since uh, past five to six years has put considerable amount of time and effort in understanding yoga and making use of yoga as a global public health good, and I'm sure that you know it, it, we will see a lot more of it happening, uh, um, like in different different spheres. And we are also expecting a lot more a lot more evidence to come out during this period regarding uh, supporting yoga to be used in more more and more places. Uh, regarding uh, Ayurveda, as as you know, we are we are trying to support. Uh, 
uh, the um, all party parliamentary group uh, through um, through through bilateral arrangements between government of india and uh, the and and the all party parliamentary group and other other groups across the globe to initiate clinical trials on on the herbal drugs which uh, the government of india is doing clinical trials uh, in india right now so uh, with this i i think i, I don't have much much else to say thank you so much dr amit